and my first day in the gym and I had shin splints. I went to the treadmill first, bro, and like two or three minutes in, I was getting shin splints. Mm. And that kind of, I tell anybody, like, don't doubt yourself, like, trust your body. Man, my dang on heart rate was crazy. I was sweating beads. My little back started hurting to where I was like, man, I need surgery, bro. You feel me? Like, I was like, ain't no way I'm going to be able to do this by myself, bro. I was like, I need some surgery, bro. Like, ain't no way I can go through this pain, like the pain I was feeling that first day of the gym. I was like, ain't no way I can feel this pain every day until I start losing weight. Excellent interview, man. Shout out to Big Bro Bricks, man, for putting me on this platform, man. For sure, it means a lot, man. Done a lot for me. Um, it gave me a jump start on creating a YouTube channel for myself, man, for sure. So I'm about to watch this video all the way through, man. i uh, do a live reaction to it, live review uh, on this video, man. I'm going to react to some of the topics we touched on and some of the uh, questions that bro asked me and some of the answers that I answered as well, man. So let's get into it, man. My man, Tasha. What's going on, boss? First of all, man to man, I want, I want to tell you that I'm proud of you. Appreciate it, bro. Like, for yes, real. Lot, though. Thanks for making this trip. Yes, sir. I could look at I could look at you in your eyes and tell that you you are a special dude. Sure. You you've been you've been sent here to to do something spectacular with your life. Yes, I sir. could feel it in your energy. What was your heaviest? I'ma tell you the thing about that man. So I had a scale. It wouldn't go over four hundred. Mm. So I don't know where. Checky Mike. Damn. That's crazy, bro. Man, I'm probably like 410 right there, 415, 420. Um, and this was this picture right here was probably like four years ago, man. This is like before I attempted a weight loss journey for like the second or third time, man. So it's just crazy to look back at that picture, man. That joint wow. Well, I really didn't know how much I weighed till I got to 399. So how did you end up 415 pounds? Man, over time, bro. Just overeating. Like over when I think about man. my lifestyle now, what was different then, it was just eating bro mm. like i was always active like you can ask mm. my mom my friends like i always hoop i played football basketball mm. middle school right. high school it's just i always over eight i was good enough to get by with my weight when i say good enough to get by i meant to say like i was you know i could do the average you know guy stuff you know to get by like you know hoop with friends you know pull chicks um go out mingle um, you know, the average stuff that a guy can do. So I really didn't have, like, um, something forcing me to lose weight. I never had, like, a drive. I never said, like, okay, I want to lose weight to get girls because I could get girls that big. I never said I wanted to lose weight so, you know, I could hoop with my friends. I could hoop with my friends. I never said I wanted to lose weight so I can play sports. I played sports. I never wanted to say, um, you know, I want to lose weight so I can, um, you know, go out and, you know, be comfortable, have confidence. I had confidence as a big dude. I went out. Um, so that's what I meant when I said I was just good enough to get by. I was just, you know, like the, I could do, I could be like the average guy at that big. So that's pretty much what I meant by that. So I never really had a drive to really lose weight. Like so, so tell me what it was like being 415 pounds. Terrible, bro. Like, that was at my heaviest, man. Like, going out, like, let's say if we go out, uh, we go into a concert. I, in my mind, I'm thinking like, damn, I hope these seats are wide enough. You feel, you me? feel me? So that used to hit me. Like facts, like people don't understand, man. When you big and overweight, you thinking in advance on certain things that could hinder you from having a good time, man. So me, like if we going to a concert or a basketball game, football game, in my head, I'm thinking like, damn, bro, they're going to have some small ass chairs, bro. I ain't going to be able to fit in them, and I'll be down, man. Almost every concert, every game I went to, man, that shit, them chairs was too damn small, bro, to where I wasn't even comfortable for real. Like, I had to keep standing up or, you know, my back would start hurting. Like, shit like that, man, Um, is, is what I meant by that. That's crazy. Because I could never ride them. I always used to act like I was scared mm -hmm. just because I knew when I got up there, I wouldn't be heavy enough. So I yeah. just played that little role like I'm – you know, stuff like that. Um, Dang, I said I wouldn't be heavy enough, but what I meant by that, like roller coaster rides, um, like I would hate to get up there and then I can't get that seatbelt on, man. Like going through the carnival growing up, it's only a few rides that I could ride, man, because they fit me. Um, some rides I couldn't get on, man, because I, I just couldn't fit, bro. Like it's just crazy, man. 
I was low key scared a little bit though. I ain't say that in the interview, but you know, no kids getting in and out of cars, man. Like it's 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 a lot to it. The simple things that most yeah. people just take for granted. Yeah, right? that they take for granted. For yeah, sure. and that you don't know that a heavy person is really thinking mm -hmm. about because only we know. Okay, so when you started your journey. Mm -hmm. What are, what are some of the first steps that you took? Um, the first thing I stopped doing was overeating, overindulging in it. Mm. So, um, so before you even changed what you ate, you yeah. changed how much? How much I ate. Mm. So I would get still eat how I regularly eat, but mm. when I felt myself getting full, I'd be like, that's it, bro. Mm. Why I throw it away? You can still enjoy a burger. You can still enjoy certain foods, but you just don't want to overeat, man. That's how I was so successful, man. That's how I'm still successful and how I still keep the weight off. I just don't overeat like I used to. I do sometimes, like on my cheat days or on some weekends or some days where I just be like, man, F it, man. I'm going to live life. I want to enjoy this food. But that's that's the main reason why I was so successful, man. I stopped getting sloppy. I stopped binging. When you were in the gym, what, what were the, you know, the first thing yeah, you did? Man, so the first thing I did, you know, we always think treadmill. So I went to the treadmill first, bro, and like... Two or three minutes in, I was getting shin splints. Mm. And that kind of, I tell anybody, like, don't doubt yourself. Like, trust your body. Like, you can't just go out and think, like, oh, I'm just about to knock out two miles. I'm about to get on track. Facts. You got to, it's baby steps, bro. Thanks, man. Yeah. My first day in the gym, man, I had shin splints. Man, my dang on heart rate was crazy. I was sweating beads. My little back started hurting to where I was like, man, I need surgery, bro. You feel me? Like, I was like, ain't no way I'm going to be able to do this by myself, bro. I was like, I need some surgery, bro. Like, ain't no way I can go through this pain, like the pain I was feeling that first day of the gym. I was like, ain't no way I can feel this pain every day until I started losing weight. So, I was, so after I left the gym that first day, man, I was like, start looking up. You know, surgery reviews, VSGs, gastric bypass. I was like, man, I need some surgery, bro. I can't do this alone. But then again, I was like, I don't know. Something just clicked in me and just was like, bro, just go back tomorrow, bro. And that go back tomorrow turned into just go back the next day. Just go back the next day. Just go back next week. Go back next month. And every time, I just kept showing up, bro. And I looked up like three or four months in. I had done dropped like 50 pounds minimum. Almost 70 pounds, and I was like, damn, bro, like, you doing it, bro. The shin splints went away. Um, you know, I was still sweating, still some kind of lower back pains, but eventually all that went away, man. So anybody, man, your first day or first couple of weeks, you're going to go through that pain, man. You're going to go through the shin splints. You're going to go through the high heart rate. You're going to go through, you know, lower back pains. You're going to go through, you know, knee pain, joint pains, because you're, you're putting your body through something you've never done or you're putting your body through something you haven't done in a long time, man. So just trust the process, man. I'm telling you, trust the process. Two, two or three minutes, like, I have shin splints. Like, I'm like, how am I going to lose weight? And I can't even. Facts, facts. Facts, facts, facts. Facts. That's, that's, that's how it was. I was like, how am I going to do this? How am I going to do this, bro? Like, I'm having shin splints, lower back pains. Like, ain't no way I'm about to be able to do this, bro. Ain't no way I'm about to make it through this journey like this, man. So, it's crazy, man. Crazy. Do this. Yeah. So, I probably was having, like, shin splints for probably, like, the first month and a half, bro, till I started Thanks. dropping weight for real. So, your first, mm -hmm. when you first went to the gym, you just got on the treadmill. Got on the treadmill. Yeah. yeah. So, were yeah. you walking? Were you running? I was walking. Yeah, okay. I couldn't run. Yeah, I was yeah. walking. Yeah, I was walking. So you just walked? Yeah, four miles was the max. I'm sorry, four uh, miles per hour was the max. Mm. Yeah, that I could go at that time. So, okay. Yeah. So, and I think that's another great first step, yeah, right? Sure. I don't know if you knew how good your strategy was in yeah. the beginning. Yeah. But just how you introduced, like, you know, your strategy with food, right? It was yeah. like, all right, let me just cut back on what I'm eating. Yeah, for sure. And then your strategy with exercise, yo, let me just walk. Yeah. That's brilliant advice yeah, to people facts. okay how long has it been since you lost the weight facts man cut back so anybody just starting out especially if you at a heavy weight or if you heavy or if you you know major overweight or obese just cut back man once you cut back even if you ain't working out you still gonna be at a cal caloric deficit man so i'm talking about people that's eating like <clears throat> Five to eight thousand calories a day, about like I was, man. Just cut back, man. Start eating thirty-five to four thousand calories. You still about to be in a deficit, cause you know you you had a caloric deficit, cause you're not eating the amount of calories that you usually eat. And then you start adding that walk into it, man. That's gonna turn you up, man, for sure. I started in April seventh. Was my first day at the gym of 2021. 
Dang, so that's my first day in the gym, bro. You fresh yeah. out, fresh out. Yeah. Fresh out. As you transition to this next part of your journey, yeah. which is, you know, I'm sure you're still pursuing goals. Yeah, but am, maintenance man. is a whole nother beast. Yeah. Thanks. You feel what I'm saying? Like Thanks. it's a no whole entirely mm -hmm. different beast. Thanks. And you got this far, right? Thanks. But I'm pretty sure what you did to get this far, mm -hmm. you're not gonna be able to keep yeah. that up. It's tough. Yeah, you're not gonna be able to it's keep tough. that up. So I just want you the to be mindful of yeah. that. Appreciate the it. The average man cannot keep up an old man bro like if you if if you if you the average man and you're not mentally strong you don't hold yourself accountable you don't have discipline you 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 will not be able to sustain old man man so just kind of warn you guys man anybody doing old man you know if you're not mentally strong i'm telling you man you, you got to be mentally strong man to do old man for sure my body's so used to fasting man i'm getting so many health healthy benefits other than weight loss with the fast that is the reason why i'm still doing it man so i'm kind of staying around the same weight the past four to five months but i'm still toning muscle i feel good i got so much energy um, i'm looking younger my skin looks excellent a whole lot of other spiritual things that goes along with one meal a day man which is why i still do it but again i'm gonna warn you man if you're not mentally strong or if you're not ready for that one meal a day man don't even dive into it man for sure I'm kind of getting there. Like, yeah. I still do what I did before, like, to get here. Mm -hmm. I ain't got tired of it yet, but I can kind of feel myself some days. Mm -hmm. Like, I'd be like, man, like, how long am I going to be able to keep doing this? Yeah. Yeah. Especially the one meal a day thing. I know I'm going to work out for, for, for life. So, hold on. So, you lost 200 pounds. Close to 200. Almost like 200 pounds. In a year? In a year, bro. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Bro, I just realized. I, I, I'm yeah. thinking this was... I don't know, 2019, 2018. Nah, like, I had multiple attempts of a weight loss journey, but this is the one where I started at my heaviest. Wow. Yeah, so, yeah for sure. Damn, yeah. you did that. Yeah, I did, man. 200 pounds. Yeah. Almost. Do you have guilt when you when you find yourself eating more than you normally would? Heck yeah. Okay, so I, so I definitely want to give you a piece of advice on that. I do, man. And I still kind of do that because it's like, damn, I put in all this work in the gym, bro, and then you about to overeat and binge and put all the weight back on, man. So I kind of still feel guilty when I do that, man, because I know how hard I be working in the gym and, you know, fasting and stuff like that to where when I do binge or overeat, man, I do feel guilty, man. So I'm always feel guilty about overeating because it's one of those things you really don't, have to do overeat man it's like that's a glutton demon man when you want to binge and overeat man for sure so i do still feel guilty be mindful of that right because that the guilt the shame it starts to affect you <laughs> mentally which yeah. then starts to affect you physically for sure. like you got to understand listen man there's gonna be times where i'm super focused i'm eating clean i'm, I'm staying within my calorie range right. and then there's gonna be times when i'm not yeah when i'm flying off the Facts. edges right and Facts. i'm, I'm just, it doesn't, it's, it's all, Facts. either way, you feel what I'm saying, you gotta have this non-judgmental perspective on it, because at the end of the day, bro, like, you, that, that's life, Yeah. you feel what I'm saying, yeah. like, there's gonna be ebbs and flows, you Facts, know? Facts, man, so everything that Bricks was saying, it, it registered, but it really registers now, because I'm going through those things that he said, man, so, man, look, like, everything he's saying, bro, like, the, you, you can be healthy one point You can eat healthy You can bang out in the gym but There's going to be some days And some weeks To where you just be like Dang I want to Live a regular lifestyle Like I want I might want to skip the gym I might want to go out And you know Party I might want to have a few drinks I might want to You know Eat something unhealthy That's a part of life man And when you do that Don't feel bad about it That's what he was saying Because If you start feeling bad About doing that stuff You can kind of put yourself In a mental box to where it'll just make you, I don't know, like, it'll still be beneficial because, you know, you're going to stay healthy, you're going to stay on track, but then again, it's just going to mess you up mentally and stuff like that and keep you from, you know, having fun and living life still. So I get what he was saying, man, for sure. His bro was definitely dropping some gems, man. Get back on it. The next day, just get back to it. Yeah. Forget about it, right? And then Thanks. enjoy it. You know what I'm saying? Like, just yo, get back on it, man. Anybody, that's all you got to do, just get back on it. Whenever you fall it. off. Don't just keep going, get back on it, man. For that. sure. It's, it's all good, bro. It's balance. This is life. Yeah. Balance, you know balance, balance. Alright, so so do you meal prep? Nah, I don't meal prep. So no meal prepping. Thing, like, I'm so weak when it comes to like 
food. Like, I Thanks. can't really have it in my house at all. Like, I'm one of them. Like, the only thing I can have is what I'm going to cook mm. when I get back from the gym. Thanks. But it got to the point to where, man, I was having to go get my food every day on what I was going to cook. Mm. Thanks. Only thing in my fridge is, like, water, maybe a fruit tray. Okay, so. Like, nothing in there. I, lo I like that because, mm. first of all, you... <clears throat> took information that you knew about yourself, Thanks. right? And you strategized in a way that kept you from getting in your own way. Right. Facts, you, you gotta know. strategize, man. What you I gotta strategize. Is, um, you gotta know your weaknesses. For sure. Create and your home. safe zone, right. man. And eventually because you I knew, want to. I knew that by me having it in the house, I wanted to, you know, I wanted to achieve and, you know, knock out my goals. I knew if I had stuff that would prevent me from doing that, I didn't have it around me, man, so. My weakness with food is like crazy, man. So at that time, man, I was having to get it every day. I didn't want to have nothing extra that would put the extra calories on me, man. I wanted to always stay at a caloric deficit, man, for sure. So you got to set yourself up for success, man. Know your weaknesses, your strengths, for sure. That's when I started losing my most weight, like when I would work out after a fast. Fasted cardio. Yeah. 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 That's when I, That's why I would weigh myself every day. Mm. It got to the point I was seeing like a pound and a half, maybe two pounds a day when I first started. And I was like, oh, that's because they only ate one time. Mm. So I was like, I might have to suffer. Let me, but let me. Let okay, so pretty much what I was meaning by that is like, I'm going to have to suffer from that time I ate my meal until the next day I ate my meal. Not like suffering, like in pain or nothing like that. It's just suffering because I was used to eating, you know, three and four times a day and eating bad food. So it was kind of suffering at first for me, man. Like I used to toss and turn in bed because I cut out sugar completely. Um, I cut out like fast foods completely. So I, I used to like toss and turn in bed because my body was so used to going to sleep full, like breaking down food while I'm asleep, man. So it didn't have that same food to break down, man. So it was hard for me to go to sleep some nights. So that's what I meant by like the suffering part, man. For sure, for sure. Got in shape. So you formed a vision, right? I formed a vision of myself for how I would look or what my lifestyle would be. And I didn't really see with the lifestyle I wanted, I didn't see myself as that big. I was facts, like, facts, facts, facts. So I formed a vision, man. So before I even started, I used to picture in my head like, damn, T.Y., like, how would you look if you lost weight, bro? Or like, what other opportunities would you have? Or like, what would that change about your future, bro? Like, your health? Like, would it add more years onto your life? What about when you have kids? Like, if you that big, how long are you going to be in your kids' life? Uh, what kind of physique you want? Um, how do you want your demeanor to be how do you want to how do you want your physical level to be so i started thinking about those things and i created like a picture or a vision in my head of how i would look you know like and things like that man and it's crazy like the way i look now or how i am now that's the exact same i'm the exact same person now that i was picturing and envisioning envisioning myself on looking like man and it's crazy man you got to create that vision you got to manifest you got to speak on things you want to do you got to Picture some things you're going to be doing or, you know, things you're going to become, the person you're going to become and things like that, man. So you always want to create a vision, even if it ain't weight loss, if you're trying to get a new job, <clears throat> even if it ain't weight loss, if you're trying to get a new job, if you're trying to achieve something, you know, go ahead and picture you achieving that picture, what your lifestyle going to be if you achieve that, man. And, you know, then put the work in because faith without work is dead, man. You definitely got to put the work in, man. But. You definitely want to um, manifest and create a vision for sure. So, for sure, for sure. Mm. Oh, you can't be that, that big. Mm. That might hinder you from doing that. Like, get yourself together first. Like, mm. God could be, like, holding you back from stuff because you unhealthy. Mm. Like, oh, I'm going to give you this and you're going to just keep doing what you want. Facts, because if God would have made me a millionaire at 400 pounds with the weakness I had over food and a whole lot of other bad habits and stuff like that, man, I probably would be... I don't know. I probably wouldn't live. I probably wouldn't have lived long, man. Versus now, if he gave me a million dollars or millions now, like I'm gonna know how to do it. I'm disciplined. I'm more mental. I'm more mentally strong. I'm more focused. I'm more disciplined. Um, so I mean, that's what I was meaning on that topic. Yeah, five years. Like thinking of like stuff like that. Nice. Man, for real. Nah, that's that's powerful, bro. When you have to create a vision. Yeah. And we spoke earlier about believing, right? Did, yeah. How like, what made you believe in yourself? I mean, pretty much, man. I would say results. Facts. Like, it's how I started believing myself, seeing other people can do it. Mm -hmm. And um, when I hit 399, that's it was up from there. It was like, what? 
Facts. Same three ninety nine dog. Facts. Like, so that results, was- man. You got to keep going until you start seeing results, man. Don't never stop before the results come, man. Because if you stop before the results come, you ain't gonna never believe in yourself. Versus if you wait until as you start seeing some results, it's gonna create another belief in a different type of spiritual type of power that like damn i lost 10 pounds damn i can lose 20 damn i lost 20 pounds damn i can lose 50 so that's what i mean by how the results made me believe in myself man when i kept stepping on the scale and i kept seeing the weight drop it it kept giving me power like each pound that dropped i kept getting powerful and powerful more mentally strong more disciplined because like damn if i can do this dang wait till i get to the size to where i can do more workouts i'm gonna do this and do that so that's how the um, results made me believe, man. For sure, for sure. I was still big, but this but, was like, but, bro, oh, that's so good, bro. Yeah. Because you celebrated even the small victories, right? And yeah. I think it's so important. Baby to steps, know. man. You gotta celebrate the baby steps. Sure. Got to. You build the momentum that way. Yeah. All right. So your confidence, right? Talk to me a little bit about the evolution of your confidence. Confidence is crazy, man. You don't even realize it, like how much of losing weight changes. It can be anything versus like. Going to the grocery store with a tank top on, mm-hmm. or going to the grocery store like it's just certain things you don't do when you be. My confidence Thanks. went like to the roof. Like mm-hmm. I started approaching girls more. Like, yeah, she my shot more. Like mm, let me see if I can do this now. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Without even caring. Like yeah, just your approach of like talking to a girl. Cause before like when you big, it's a certain way you gotta do it. You can't just walk up and be like, what's up? Like they gonna first thing I'm gonna do is you can. You really can though. You can like. All my big dudes out there, man. Hey, man, it's plenty of chicks that love big dudes, man, for sure. So just approaching with confidence, man. That's going to make her like you more. It's like, dang, this big dude got confidence and stuff like that. So definitely can have confidence as a big guy, man, for sure. I'm going to put you in the friend zone. Like. Did you get tired of getting friend zone? Shh, crazy, bro. Uh, Either friend zone. You, because you were a cute, chubby dude. You probably yeah. had- of course, I got friend zone the few times, but I wasn't out here like, Getting rejected by everything I tried, like that's cap. You know, yeah. Personality, yeah. I can tell. Yeah, for sure. But, but it, it was probably hard. it was kind of hard to take things to that next it level. It was either the friend zone or nobody can know about this. Or mm. if you wanted to keep going, like mm. it was that not all the time show. though. And I was always that type of guy, man. You know, I ain't I ain't never, you know, hit my homeboy up like, yo, I just hit what you call it or hit something and got a post about it, like, or oh, I'm with this girl, or I did this. I, ain't, I, don't, I don't kiss and tell, because it ain't nobody business for real. From 400 plus mm-hmm. to now having the physique that you have mm-hmm. today, what are, what are some of your favorite things about being fitness, right? Being at this size? It's a lot, bro. But like buying clothes. Mm-hmm. Like I can, used to like, go somewhere, I had to go like four or five different places to find mm-hmm. something, or I had to order it online, or I had to, Facts, 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 facts. So, first of all, the main thing with me losing weight, which I touch on a lot, especially in the interview, is health, man. You know, I wanted to lose weight to get healthy. That's one of the best things or the best thing that ever happened to me with losing weight is health, man. I can breathe. I'm physical. Um, I sleep good at night. That's the main thing. Clothes, that's cool. But, you know, I, I was so heavy and big to where, you know, I got to the point where I was able to just walk in the store. I know I wear a large or I wear a medium or I wear a 32 jean. Like that gives me, I don't know, that made me feel good when I first lost weight around that time of the interview to where it's like, damn, I can just walk in the store and pick out an outfit. I ain't got to go to 10 different stores. I ain't got to order nothing online and stuff like that, man. So that's what I kind of meant about the clothes thing. The online fitness framework is not. I have to buy something to get up something put on it. Like now I can just go in there. I know my size. I wear a large. Like, I got, they got yeah, that. They got your size. You feel I can me? walk in there like, good. It's another thing. You feel like, me? I used to play pickup ball. I was good, but if I go to a gym where they don't know me, you ain't, you ain't playing. Facts, facts. Um, now I can kind of go, like, I'll be going to the wide hoop, and it's like, yo, you trying to run? Like, I'm getting asked to run. Oh, facts. Yo, you trying to get like, little stuff? And I'm busting ass, too. I, to I was busting ass big, too. No Myself to play like with y'all, like before I, they got to say, Oh, be, he can shoot, or he nice, man. yeah, pick him facts, up. Facts, facts. And it's like, Oh, yeah, if you know, you know, I'm good. So that's one thing I like too, because I love the hoop, bro. Yeah, I love the hoops. It's, it, it's crazy how 
the world treats you different yeah, right? when, crazy. when you're not overweight. Right? Yeah. It's, it's such a big difference. Man, let me speak on that, man. So, I, since I've lost weight, bro, like when I go get food, like especially when I go somewhere like Chipotle or somewhere where they got to make my food, bro, they give me so much food now, bro. Versus when I was big, they used to be skimp on the food or if I wanted my food done a certain way or if I wanted a certain amount of food, they'll look at me crazy. Now, everywhere I go, it's cool for me to power my plate up, man. It's cool for them to power my food up or it's cool for me to double back on the buffet. Nobody looks at me weird, but when you big, man, and you people, it's like people, I don't know, I can't explain it, but if you big, you know what I'm talking about, man. You know what I'm talking about, man. It's crazy. At work or in, in the public or like you said, playing yeah. ball, yeah. it's like people treat you different, right? It's crazy. Thanks. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's it puts wrong. You in that area, it's right? wrong, right? Yeah. Because we shouldn't discriminate against anybody, but it's it's yeah. it's a subconscious thing. Like For we, sure. Thanks. You know, so I know it feels good, bro. Man, it do, man. Use that as motivation, bro, yeah. to, to keep this thing going because you got sure. people who are looking up to you. Yeah. People who are using your story for inspiration. Yeah. And, Facts, uh, man. That's really one of the things that keep me going, man. Like y'all, man, my subscribers, people that I don't even know, man. It's it's crazy, bro. Like it's crazy. Like people that I don't even know that don't know me f from a can of paint, man, will like DM me. Check in on me. Um, you ain't posted in a while, bro. Where you at? You still at it? Like stuff like that. Like it's I can't let y'all down, bro. Like y'all mean a lot to me, bro. Because it's like, dang, like I don't even know y'all for real, and y'all just like y'all say I inspire y'all, or I'm the reason that y'all did this, or y'all tell me keep going, and I don't even be knowing y'all for real, so. Y'all keep me going, man, for sure, for sure. So y'all inspire me, man. I think if I never created this YouTube channel or if I never start posting about weight loss, I don't even know if I'd still be doing it for real. I don't know if I would have put the weight back on. I know I wouldn't have put the weight back on because, you know, I became, like, more, um, you know, strong and, you know, more mental, mentally focused and disciplined. I don't think I never would have gained the weight back, but just the extra mile that I take, man, it's because of y'all, man, for sure, so... Y'all keep me going, man, for sure, for sure. So I want to thank all my subscribers, all my supporters, man, everybody, man. I love all y'all, man, for sure, for sure. I'm proud of you, myself, sure. bro. bro. Like, so what's your advice to people who, who can't seem to snap out of that mm -hmm. spell, right? Don't think about next month. Think about two years from now. Mm -hmm. Like, what if I do this every day for a year? Like, oh, think about, you got to think far in or you, know, you will never get started. Mm. That was facts, my problem. Facts, Every time facts, when I got facts. started, I'll be like, okay, next month. I'm Keep going, to man. Stay, stay down, down man. It's going to happen. I promise you. Way. It's like, no. Stay down. Three years from now, if I keep doing this or stay on this path, where, I, where, can, you, where can you be? Consistency yeah, over you gotta, intensity. Yeah, consistency, you gotta, you gotta consistency, consistency, man. Consistency, let consistency. Let them stack up over yeah. years. Yeah. Right? All right, so talk to me a little bit about your loose skin, dude. How are you feeling about that? Like, what's, what, what's that? Like, Fuck it's one it. It's where it's like, effort, bro. Mm -hmm. like, I know how I feel. Fuck mm -hmm. it. I, ain't nobody perfect. It's just like, I accepted that first. Like, I knew, like, okay, you're going to look good, but you're going to have some stuff like loose skin. Yeah, or yeah. Where you might have some points where people can tell you used to be big, but it's like, F that, bro. Like, Fuck it. I can breathe. I'm him. Mm. I can run. Mm. I can... Mm. Yeah, do a lot of things I couldn't do before. So it's like the A lot part, of things. Like, a whole yeah, lot of yeah, things. So nobody that accept that, then you ain't for me for real. I love that. So I don't be thinking about like, I, oh, I got to have a nice body for this. So I got to do this. Like, nah. Mm -hmm. I just got to get healthy. I lost weight and I got loose skin instead mm -hmm. of I never lost weight. Mm -hmm. Facts, like, facts, facts, like facts. It's just like yeah, a trophy. I got to do that. Yeah. Like, that's another facts. thing. I forgot who said that, but it's like, damn, I got to go to the gym. This dude ain't got to do that. He's skinny. Get to go to the gym, bro. So Thanks. Just from, I, I, I have Thank you, to God, to, I get to for get allowing to me to That's gratitude, go bro. to the gym. Yeah, just, it's just being appreciative and allowing me of to the opportunity to walk, even walk, run. Sometimes, like when I'm sitting in the work room, out, exercise. Like, well, and Thank you, God. Deep, I'm very grateful. But I'll picture somebody with no legs. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. What would this person? You can do that all the time. I always use gratitude, man. Gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. And I'm sitting here with two perfectly good legs, taking it for granted. Yeah. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Facts, like facts, learning. facts. Don't take none of that for granted, man. Before you ever 
say you know you can't do something or you know you you should be able to be this way or you shouldn't have to do this think about somebody that's in a 10 time worse position than you man and i promise you that should keep you going man gratitude man i've always lived by gratitude man for sure you can ask anybody to ever be around me man i always tell them man you know think about the upside of it don't never think about the downside of nothing like don't ever think about the downside think about the bright side man it's always a bright side to every situation i don't care how bad it is what the situation is, it's always a bright side. It's always an upside to it. And once you add that into your life to where you're always thinking about the bright side and the upside instead of the downside and the dull side or the dull moment, you, I'm telling you, man, it'll create you. It'll, it'll, it'll turn you to a whole different human being, man, for sure. I promise you. Little mental yeah. hacks almost yeah. to get Gratitude yourself going. Man. You got to know how to, you got to be able to go inward, right? Yeah. You got to be nice. able to observe what's happening yeah. with you and check in with yourself like yo yeah. listen am i being lazy right now yeah. am i nice. am i being ungrateful right now yeah. how can i how can i get myself into action and and, and gratitude for sure always works gratitude man. Used to do it in the wheelchair that wish he was 400 pounds and can start a journey and, like bro it's somebody nice. that wish they wasn't in the wheelchair and could walk with 500 pounds yes sir nice. like, nice. i get it bro perspective man yeah. it's, it's perspective yeah for sure and it's about it's your attitude yeah. about life right yeah nice. like nice. you gotta if you want to change your body if you want to change anything about your life mm -hmm. you have to change your attitude yeah you got to you have to change your attitude you, to. you have you to change your perspective lose. on things yeah. right because we're, again where focus goes energy flows bro yeah. and if you're paying attention to the negativity if you're paying attention where focus goes energy flows man so i always remember that where focus goes energy flows man i'm telling you, that's huge right there huge you don't have yeah then you're just gonna have more of that you're gonna right? have if you focus on the great things, because we all have blessings to focus yeah, on, we bro. Do. We all have nice. blessings to focus on. And when you focus on the blessings, that's when you multiply them. Yeah. You feel me? That's when you invite more of that en en energy into your life. Nice. Yes. Listen, bro. I'm proud What's of you, Tasha. I'm proud of you, bro. Any, anything I, I can do to support you and, and, and any goals you got, bro, sure. lean in on me. Yeah. Like, we'll truly, you got my number. Yeah. And I mean that. This yeah. ain't no cameras. Like, no, nah, sure. real talk. Yeah. Like, and I want to say this, too. Like, your sister. Like, mm. Appreciate oh, yeah, it. Oh, yeah, yeah. She connected. Thank you, man. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate it. No doubt. Yeah, that's love, man. That's love. Dang, pretty dope interview, man. Pretty dope interview, man. I always said I want to do a reaction or a review to it to kind of touch up on some of the topics and questions. Yes. Dope interview. If you guys haven't seen it, go check it out, man. Dope. But other than that, man, your boy out. You got to make it through your situation. Whatever you're going through, just be patient. Be patient. Gotta make a move, you can't keep waiting